Hey, Sonic Graver here. Welcome back to my channel. In this video, I wanted to show you how you can change the tempo of your audio tracks in real time for it to match the given tempo of your current Logic project. So in this case, I have my project sitting at 140 beats per minute, and I have this EQ up for your aural reference. I have this cutoff frequency roll effect that I think sounds quite nice. Let's go ahead and hear. <laughs> So this is kind of an uplifting trance feel, sitting at two four bar phrases. And so I like the speed, I like the effect. So when I have a musical gesture like this, the next thing I want to do when I'm fleshing out some ideas is to apply some rhythm to it. So I've been exploring sound libraries and a lot of the construction kits or the drum loops do sit at a given tempo. Let's go ahead and review these two samples here. The first sample is a drum loop by Stefan Torto and it's sitting at 90 beats per minute. The next one is Ghost Hack, and this is sitting at 130 beats per minute. Let's start with uh, Stefan Torto with 90 beats per minute. All right, right out of the gate, if we play it back, it's not gonna line up. As you can hear. Let's go ahead and check this with a BPM counter, this audio track, just to make sure we are sitting at 90 beats per minute. So it is with a little variance. Now we want this to be 140 beats per minute, so what do we do? Well, we go ahead and select the flex tool here, and we also as this icon has uh, pulled up, we also need to select this. And you may have noticed that this snapped back. So let me go ahead and deselect it so you can see. This is the original tempo at 90 beats per minute where the four bar phrase ends a little past bar seven. And with this on, we have it right at bar five, right where we need. And I have been given the recommendation to go between monophonic and polyphonic. So let's just go ahead and be safe and do polyphonic here. And take a listen to this now. If you wanted to stretch it all the way, maybe right at, you know, the end of eight bars, we can do that. And it's going to have the speed. And so you're going to have a kind of this really stretched feel. Going to go back to this track sitting at 130 beats per minute. Now it is faster, you know, it's closer to 140, but it's still over the five bar mark here. So, of course, we're going to check our counter and see where it stands here. Right at 130. If we turn this off and then on, Okay, so it's not snapping as the previous audio track, but that's okay. If you grab this corner here, we can pull it back. And let's go ahead and check that again. Right at 70 or right at 140. Uh, let's go ahead and listen to that. <laughs> Let's go ahead 
even test this flex tool even more. I'm going to arbitrarily just pull numbers down and up just to change the tempo. So let's pull this down really slow, like at 85. Let me pull it all the way up to 163, for instance. So I hope that you liked that. Keep producing the good music that you love, and I will see you next time.